What's up, Morasokas? <laughs> Today, I'm going to be talking about the most expensive fragrance that I have in my collection. Is it worth it? Well, we're going to find out my thoughts today. So if you want to hear what I have to say, let's get it. You don't want to miss this one. What's good, YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion, fragrance, and lifestyle on this channel as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, I hope you guys won't mind hitting the subscribe button, man. If you do that, make sure you take a few moments as well to hit the bell icon as well to give yourself a shot at getting notified when I upload new content on the channel. So you see the title of today's video, guys. I want to be talking about the most expensive fragrance that I have in my collection, at least from the standpoint of the retail price. Is it worth it? Well, to me, the whole uh, proposition of value is uh, very, uh, very much a relative term. Uh, when it comes to uh, fragrances or anything else that you buy for that matter. It's about the uh, purchase, the person that's purchasing that item. Uh, it is up to you to ascribe value uh, to whatever it is that you're uh, considering. I mean, there's a lot of things to consider. How much it costs, how much uh, disposable income do you have to dedicate it to it, etc. How bad do you want it? There's a lot of things that go into it. So I don't know if I will really be able to answer the value question, but I am going to give you my thoughts on this fragrance and whether or not it was worth it to me. So if you want to hear my thoughts on a fragrance from the house of Bodicea Victoria, it's called Valiant, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. The House of Boulder City of Victorious is a fragrance brand that, of course, fo focuses on luxury niche fragrances. Uh, they definitely have the luxury thing down when you look at the bottles uh, from a lot of the offerings from this house. Um, that's one of the first words that come to my mind, luxury. It is luxury through and through. And I'm going to be talking about, again, a fragrance that I have from this brand um, that just going by the retail cost is the most expensive fragrance that I have in my collection. And again, it's called Valiant. So first up, let's take a look at the presentation. All right. So something you're going to notice uh, if you start to delve into this brand is they have, as it relates to the outer presentation, a very different uh boxes that these fragrances are going to come in they have i would say different levels as far as price they start out around the 225 to 250 dollar price point and then the next tier i would say is 300 to 600 and then you have that 600 to a thousand and then you have some that are a thousand plus those are kind of the tiers and this fragrance retails for 1250 dollars. i know i know most of you won't even consider it for that price and that's fine but I want to talk to you guys about it and why I purchased it. Now, let's look at the presentation really quickly and we'll get into it. Valiant, Bodicea Victorious comes in a gold, or oh, well, the sleeve is gold. So you just slide this off like so. And it's in a black box. Now the fragrance rests in, and I won't say securely, but it rests in the base of the box like so. I think that says Bodicea Victorious on the bottom there of the base. So you can see that. And man, the, the bottle's gorgeous. This is real 14 karat gold plated. Now the presentation, I, I said this before, presentation is a part of it, guys. And when you're talking about uh, collecting fragrances, uh, presentation matters even more. I don't think it matters as much for people that are casual fragrance wearers. They probably could care less about presentation, but for those of us that are fragrance heads or fr fragrance heads or frag heads as they we've termed it, a lot of us really care about the presentation. Uh, it plays a part in it, you know, the overall, um, you know, hobby and what you want to pick up, how things look as well play a small role. Although, of course, our sense of smell is the primary or, or factory uh, experience that we that we uh, care about when it comes to fragrances. The appearance does matter, so. Let's look at the bottle. 
The bottle's gorgeous. The bottle, the, the, the presentation is a 10 out of 10. Take a look at that, man. You have the horses there on the front. And for me, this video isn't getting into all the background of the fragrance, man. I just want to talk to you about the, the, the juice, man, not the background and that kind of stuff. But just take a look at that bottle. I want to leave it there for a minute because I want you guys to really take that in. It's amazing. Same insignia there on the top bottle on the cap. Just check it out, man. Presentation is easily 10 out of 10. For me, here's the back. This is what it looks like on the back here. And of course, you see uh, the name of the fragrance there, the uh, name of the, the brand, and then the name of the fragrance. Both Cedar Victorious and Valiant. Oh, man. This thing is so good. It's so good, man. Uh, let me show you guys the sprayer on this one as well. I'm going to waste about $300, $300 right here. So make sure it goes on my hand though so you get a nice mist there my hand is nice and shiny yep this stuff is really really freaking oh smelling in the air oh so let, let's go ahead and get into what this thing smells like okay i consider myself somewhat of a practical reviewer so the opening of this fragrance is is heavenly to me. And that is based on what I like in fragrances. There is this beautiful, floral, fruity, creamy freshness that you get in this fragrance in the opening. And to me, it is, it is mind-blowing how good this is. Oh my goodness, when it opens up. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It is so good. Oh my gosh. So, okay, there's this almost clean, soapy, almost out of headache, uh, clean soapiness in this fragrance. Now, I don't recall if aldehydes are listed as a note, but I get a very clean, soapy, almost aldehydic feel from this fragrance. Now, it could be the neroli in this, could be the neroli, but that's what I get in the opening. You have a very prominent note of mandarin orange. Uh, you have mandarin orange and you have the orange blossom and the neroli. And that, those three notes primarily create this really, like I said, fresh, creamy, orange, citrusy, uh, slightly soapy accord in the opening. And again, if you like really clean fragrances, if you like fragrances that uh, feature notes, uh, heavy citrus, citrus notes like orange, you are going to absolutely love the opening of this fragrance. Now, in the heart of the fragrance, as it starts to dry down, that really clean nature was really sticks around for a while. And the orange. Now, because it has mandarin orange, but it has orange as well. But you also have that petit grain in there. So you have that petit grain neroli combination that's kind of still around as the fragrance starts to transition. And the orange blossom actually gives this sweet floral slightly creaminess to the scent. So I love when the orange blossom really starts to come full circle uh, and prominent front and center in the fragrance because it starts to give, add this creaminess to the fragrance. And I really love that, how it blends with that orange. So you get this orange creaminess that's going on that is absolutely to die for. Now the heart is all about the florals, the orange blossom, the cherry blossom. You have some jasmine in here as well. And there's a note of orris that starts to give a slightly powdery nuance uh, to the fragrance as well. Now, as the fragrance starts to transition from the mid, the mid uh, where you have all this host of floral notes, it gets really, 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 really good. You have amber, you have some patchouli in here, and most importantly, you have a very prominent note of sandalwood. Now, I talked about the orange blossom, how it starts to introduce a little bit of creaminess in the fragrance, but it gets really, really creamy on the dry down. And that is primarily because of that sandalwood that is in here. Now, with the way the base of this is constructed, it also has tonka bean as well. So you get a very creamy, vanillic tonka bean kind of sweetness on the dry down. And that's when this fragrance starts to resemble what some people have referred to as an orange cream sickle. Yes, you get a very much an orange kind of cream sickle vibe. And to me, that will really sum up what this fragrance really smells like. This is an orange cream sickle. That's exactly what this smells like. And I am all the way 100% here for it. I love this fragrance in my humble opinion. 
and this has nothing to do with the cost, this fragrance to me, based on the scent, is a definite 10 out of 10. Now, when somebody spends this amount of money, let's talk about the cost. Again, it retails for 1250 bucks. I introduced this fragrance on a video uh, a couple weeks ago. I hinted at that, the fact that I got it from FragranceNet. Now, I went back on uh, FragranceNet like two days after I mentioned it, and they were sold out. So, <laughs> some of you probably took the hint and went on ahead and grabbed this fragrance uh, for yourself as well. Now, even with the discount at FragranceNet, I paid, I think it was 780 bucks for it. And when I bought this, I bought Blue Sapphire at the same time because these are two fragrances that you just don't find on discounted sites. And I had been wanting to get my hands on both of them. I had them in my cart. They've been sitting there for a long time because Blue Sapphire retails for about 900. This retails for 1250 bucks. And the fact that I could get both of them for the price that I could almost get this for is why I decided at that time to go ahead and make the purchase on both of those fragrances because I got, in my opinion, a great deal on both of those fragrances. And to me, it was worth it. I'm a collector. I love the bottle. I love the scent. It smells heavenly. Now to me, this can be, a, as far as seasons, this can really be a signature scent. As I told you, it's well constructed with the citruses on the top, the mandarin orange, the orange, uh, combined with those nice, really soapy, aldehydic kind of florals in here with neroli and petit grain and orange blossom. And of course, on the dry down, when you start to get the warm, sweeter notes, the amber, the patchouli, uh, the vanilla, and the sandalwood, it just really makes a very versatile fragrance that I really feel like you can get away with wearing year round. Now, at that kind of price point, I know that most people are going to be careful with how many times they spray this and when they spray it. But this really could work just based on the scent DNA alone as a signature scent. Now, when it comes to performance, um, I get really great projection on this fragrance for the first two hours. Uh, now, as far as complete longevity, I get eight and a half to nine hours of complete longevity. And so, again, when you talk about the question of whether or not it's worth it, well, I think that's up to uh, the beholder. You know what you know what you value. And uh, again, I kind of went through that whole mentality earlier, but to me, it was definitely worth it to me, for me. I know some of you wouldn't spend that kind of money on a fragrance, and that's cool. Don't knock people that do. I won't knock people that don't think it's worth it, but to me, it was definitely worth it. But I will say for people out there that like a fragrance that kind of has an orange, cit citrusy, creamy vibe, that this is a fragrance that you are probably going to absolutely love. And I always say this, you don't have to get a full bottle, man. Just get yourself a sample and you'll see what I am talking about. But for me personally, this is an absolute 10 out of 10. But that's it, guys. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today, man, as I gave you my take on my most expensive fragrance or the most expensive fragrance in my collection. And that is this one, Valiant, from the house of Bodicea, the Victorious. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do. And from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget, guys, don't forget to take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.